So here we are looking at two skills. So we're looking at what happens, how do we simplify one of these things here? And then also how do we like unsimplify or complicate, I guess, um, these things here. Now, I'm not sure why we do this. I think it's so that we can rewrite it in a different way or something, I don't know. Um, but um, hopefully that will be able to work something out there. But, but we'll start with this thing here. So over here, what we can do is we can rewrite this as um, the square root of 12 over the square root of 49. So that should make it nice and easy. So we should know square root of 49 is what? Well, it's 7, so we're going to put that as 7. Now, for this 12, remember, we are looking at factors of 12, one of which is a perfect square, and that is 4 by 3. So 4 is a perfect square, so that we can take the square root of and bring it out the front. Square root of 4 is 2. So we've got 2 root 3 over 7. Okay, whoops. Alright, now in this case here, what we're trying to do is we're trying to get backwards. So saying 4 root 2, we're trying to complify rather than simplify it or complicate it. Anyhow, um, so basically if we want to take this 4 and we want to put it back, what do we have to do? We've got to square it. So then it becomes 4 squared becomes 16. So we end up with 2 times, like we said, 4 squared, which is 16. Likewise, for this problem here, what we're going to do, we want to put that 7 inside there. So we've got to square it. So we're going to have 5 times 7 squared, which is 49. So over here, this is becoming the square root of 32. And over here, we have the square root of 5 times 49. So 5 times 40, 200. 5 times 9 is 245. Like I said, I'm not sure why we get you to do that. I'm sure there is some sort of method to the madness. Or maybe it's just textbook companies just trying to be swifty.